Hi folks, uh, thanks to all new subscribers. I uh, went on a trip on Tuesday. Um, I've also went out yesterday, that's why I'm late uploading this. Uh, yesterday was a bit of a bust. We were checking some rivers out from an old legend and uh, <laughs> it was supposed to be big gold. Although some of the parts of the rivers we couldn't access, they were like that. It was dangerous. So I did go down to another river and pull about 20 pieces of tiny flakes out. So I'm not bothering even going to upload that video unless you really want to see it. But I don't think it's worth seeing, to be honest. There's some great footage of countryside, but that's about it. Uh, but this video, we went down to a river about 40 minutes away from us. Uh, we've been there before, and uh, it's got a lot of fine gold in it. But, as I said, it's fine. It's really hard to clean. So at some later point, I'm going to try and I'm going to get some flux and try and uh, melt this, uh, well, on my black sands. I'm going to concentrate it down as much as I can and then try and melt the gold out of it because it is so fine uh, don't forget about the giveaway i'll put a link in the bottom and if you click on that and you drop a comment on the video that i put the link to then you've got a chance of winning this there's not many people in it there's probably about i don't know about 15 20 comments so far so there's a good chance that you're going to take it away i'll send it anywhere in the world if you are um in a country that can't take pay dirt i'll wash it out put it in a vial and send it you with this so it's best I can do and uh, don't forget it's nice to be nice and I'll get on with it first thing you do when you get to a place is stake your claim <laughs> this is not a bad little spot just on that side that's all um, farmers fields so this is pretty much got a fixed area and Last time we were down here, we got about half a gram between us from this bank here. We went, done a lot of testing up and down it. As you can see, it comes down with a dog leg, and that's the farmer's field. And you can see it's pretty much fixed. There's a couple of other bits that could be tested on here, but if we're gonna, uh, if it's good still here, then uh, we'll just sluice some of this and see what we get. First thing to do is do a few pans around, see where we're getting the sweet spots. There's also a good there, that area. So, two test pans. There's three pieces in there. Mario's got four in. You can find them. It's fine stuff, but it's there, there's four in it. I took a pan out there. He took a pan out there. Don't mean it's not better there or there. There's quite a few bits there, probably ten or more. Small, but it's testing again for the same hole. Keep testing, there might be nothing in lower layers, might be just some toxic centers. But it pays. I'm just going there, just gonna run my second bucket, get sluice running better. And I set up here. Black mat, ten buckets. Mm, it's all right. That's good. No millimeter off. Mm -hmm. It comes from carpet, but they'll be going home. It's too small to clean out here, clean that out here, you lose half of it. Been there, done that. So, that's my ten buckets. A bit in there, not bad. I'm sure there's a bit more 
hiding. That's the wrong way. Maybe you can see that but it's quite a bit under there. No, I'm not going to clean it out. I'm going to keep going that, but I'll show you something else. I'm going to do a little bit of a test pan. I'll see if I can get a test out of this, uh, you know me and my waterfalls. It's coming right around the corner, so I'm going to can get some dirt out of there. What I'll do is I'll weigh my bucket down and try and shovel into it. There is some gravel in the bottom. So, hopefully it's not all just blowing it out. And onto the corner where we're going. We ought to have a try here as well. Could be dropping off uh, more there. One tiny speck of gold on that edge. Looking at that, I would say it's more in the middle if it's going to be in there, but it's difficult to get in there in the middle. <laughs> Lots of nails and stuff. So I mean, it's, it's a good, it's a good trap, but getting it out is the problem. Do that piece back to river gods, and it floated away. There's six in there, and that's just from there where the shovel is. And the thing is with that there, it water's a bit fast. But in case of piling some rocks up and getting through actual this stuff, it's quite hard. But once you throw it, I bet that'll be a good little spot. Just in case of piling me three rocks up in front just to get some uh, quieter water to work in. I might change me I might change over to here. Mm, I don't know. Ah, the simple pleasures in life. Sitting down by the river, watching someone else work, allegedly. <laughs> Pumps offer. I'm not bothering doing a clean out yet. I'm going to put another 10 through. So it looks like that's pretty clean, it's not blocked up with black sand, although there's more black sand in here. A lot of steel in it. That spot up there around the corner, save that for another day. Because this place has got loads and loads of finds in it. It's all the way up and down. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my line there, where Mario's digging there. And I'm gonna work my way that way. Because I took the gold off that and basically I'm running down middle of the line hopefully. But I'll always, I can always do a test and it's, I'm still pulling gold out where I'm there at right, I don't know, a couple of three feet deep. So I'm just going to run that way and see what we get after 20. So I'm going to get something to eat. Uh, I'm going to run another four buckets through that and then I'm going to move further up there like where I said. I'm going to give that a try. Because I've got deeper down there and I did test out at the bottom and there's not so much gold deeper than there is in sort of top foot or so, top two foot. Uh, little tip how to find gold. Go to places where other people don't go. Go and try them spots. If you've got a river that's got gold in it, go and try all tributaries that run into it. Because most people just go, I'm going gold digging, I'm going gold prospecting. They go to a place because lots of other people go there. Now, other thing when lots of people go there, there's going to be a damn sight lost gold there now than there were this morning, because I've just took it. Do you know what I mean? Tomorrow we're going to a place, we're going to follow a legend. Um, there were some big gold took out of this place 500 years ago. There's three rivers up there. And tomorrow we're going just prospecting, no sluice. to be uh, pans, shovel and uh, travelling light and doing as much testing as we can. It could be nugget country uh, because there's load gold up there where we're going. Uh, it might be <laughs> it might be the first time I get skunked as well. So it could be interesting to see. But this river here, I reckon cube for cube has got more more gold in it than the uh, Gross Fontana. 
it's not big gold because it's travelled a long way, but there's a lot of it, a lot of coin. It could work. It could work on this for ten years and get gold every day. I think. It depends how much we get. Be interested to see how much I pull out of that today. But it'll also be interesting to see how much I pull out of there later. I'll try and get ten buckets through there, but I'm going to have to build a little bit of a diversion for water to get it round me because it's a bit fast up there. So I've got me 20 through. It's all right down there. Just focus. Probably not. Not looking bad to be honest. I need to clean out. Mario's just doing his second clean out, so we'll give a look at that when he's uh, sand it down. That's the mat. See what it looks like in pan. That's Mario's clean out. That's his complete clean out though for this time, but that's nice. And that's my top mat. I've still got carpet to clean. And then that's a sneak preview of what's out at carpet. I'm not going to wash it out here because it's so fine that it's really hard and there's loads of talk way through that. Hopefully there's a lot more in it and I'll wash it on the middle of the table because it's a pain in the bum to clean out and you lose a lot of that stuff when washing it out here. I'll run that through again. But I'm going to put that as is in Tupperware. Still has come to hell. So that's two buckets from here. I was going to dig down here, but I'm going to take it from there. That incidentally, where I'm digging, is almost like concrete. This is just really, really hard packed together. So that's good stuff. Let's see what I can get off it, get out of it. Might get 10 through if I'm lucky. And we'll see. I'm running out of batteries, so. <laughs> I'll keep holding till the next wash out, or at least. So, I've got another eight through it. The last four I just chucked through, just to try and get a few more through. So, I might have knocked some gold out, I might, have, I might not have, but it might look so alright. Look that spot there, I'm into that bank where it's uh, really rock hard. So, I hope you can hear me. I did have a complaint yesterday about sound. So, I'll turn up sound up for everybody on everything if that helps. Good feel. Mario. I feel cool. Mario's black mat. Sacks. Sacks. My black mat. I've got eight through, but I'm just at the front of that waterfall. It's not bad, that. It's all very fine. I'll just show you this. This is what I originally got from Top Mats. So, and I'm going to clean the rest out. I've just done a quick, well, pan just a little bit of it. And you can see lots of really fine stuff in it. So, I have to recalibrate the uh, <laughs> miller table to clean that out. So guys, that's the total. It's probably not the total, but there's some really, really fine stuff still in there. I'll have to find a way. I'll, I'll probably have to melt it down. I'll get some, uh, buy some floats and run my black sand because I've got to save all my black sand anyway. Um, there's two traps in the middle of the table, and that's only top trap. So I'm guessing there'll be some more gold in the bottom. There. Plus, it, I've got another, I don't know, a couple of litres of black sand. What I've run through. Interested to see how much gold that is, but that's usually in winter work. Still all the way through there. I'm perfectly clean, but it's really hard to do, hard to clean because it is so small. In fact, there'll be, there'll be so much stuff in there what you just can't, you know, what you can't see with naked eye.